I got a lot of damn things to talk about over this Walking Dead break, but the first thing I thought that was most important is why the, the Carl's death didn't impact us, okay? Now, I, I know I'm not, I can't speak for everybody, but for me personally, this is the biggest death, this is a fact, this is the biggest death The Walking Dead has ever had, and guess what? Um, we weren't bawling, we weren't fucking flipping out and shit. We were just like, what? You had this uneasy feeling where you're just sitting back and you're questioning you know what happened but you don't think it happened and you and you're wondering if this is a joke now okay there's a lot of things that go and play within this whole thing now i'm going to be making multiple videos throughout the break uh this one is going to be just um talking about like why we didn't feel anything with um with carl's death the next three are going to be carl's death explained chandler riggs leaving what happened and then the future of the walking dead because this is a huge change now um before i get into all the, that stuff i want to focus on the single subject carl why and how did we not feel so shaky last night now of course that last scene when he revealed it and that music that played in the background i i got chills i'll give you that but for a character that's so big you think there would be more now it's because it's this is the weirdest storyline change to walking into this done. it's not just they killed off carl but the way they did it in six separate ways it's very very odd okay so for one the walker bite now when he went off to sadiq the Walking Dead has never shown really an off-camera. Well, they showed this. But when he was going off to Sadiq to give him medicine the second time, to give him food and stuff, when he brought him back, the Traveler, whatever you call him, um, he actually fell over, and he got bit when he was getting overrun by a few walkers, which is very, really, really weird way to die, to get bit. Because, like, honestly, Carl, out of all the people, he's been fighting walkers since the start. He's so good with this. And I would get if it was a herd, but th there was only a few on him. And that being so, you know, the death kind of throws us away, like, he's got bit doing that, meeting a random stranger in the woods. Now, of course, there are things that justify this. Uh, as we have Sadiq now, there's just so many things to talk about with Sadiq. Um, that character, I think he knew that Carl got bit, and he was just, he has to basically, you know, redeem Carl, avenge Carl. I think... I expect Sadiq to be one of the main people that feel bad. He feels bad because, like, Carl died saving him, bringing him here. And I think he'll become a valuable member of the group for sure. But he really has to avenge Carl for what the fuck that boy did. Alright, so for one, it was the walker bite. The way they chose to, you know, kill him off. The second one was, and it has to be, the lack of screen time. Usually every character and every single character in The Walking Dead got this. There's no exception. Every single character. They get an increase of screen time between like the half or the episodes before they die but carl that is absolutely wrong yes episode eight how it's gotta be was also his quote and it was about him it was just his story of like kind of cementing that he's a man now which was beautiful and i really fucking love that shit but um you know it just he we would have felt more emotional if we saw him recently it's like this if you like were with your family like every day for eight years and one of them died one day then you yeah you're with your dad for eight years he dies then fuck what the hell you'll feel so much worse than if oh i was with my dad for eight years then i stopped seeing him for two years and then he died like you've already lost that part of him so it's not going to be as emotional now i'm not going to hate on them this is really different this is really shocking if the spoiler wasn't out there people would probably be like tripping out of again i'll be making a video explaining every single thing today i'm just explaining um why we're not feeling anything so first off we have that the death was weird the way he died second off we have that fucking carl grimes um what was i even talking about fuck wait the lack of screen time sorry about that and the third one reactions okay the third one is reactions both the online community and the characters didn't really have that big reactions now of course we just realized it in the last like 10 seconds so it's completely up to the second half to di to dictate that but remember this is the biggest character to die rick has no future to fight for anymore that was his son so if he just like gets over and like okay i'm gonna fight negan now that would probably be the biggest mistake ever i mean we see michonne falling to the ground but usually deaths impact us when we see the characters reacting if we just see someone die Okay, cool, but if you see someone die and then people react around them, you start to react as well. So, 
adding on to that that we did not see anyone's really reaction we also didn't feel it now just fucking telling you boys i don't have a problem with this i really loved how the mid-season finale wrapped i couldn't have pictured it in any other way uh, i think this is perfect and the next episode should be amazing uh scott Kibble said the next episode will actually be chandler's you know carl's actual death episode so this is not it boys and we're definitely going to be feeling actual shock and sadness next episode all right this is the final one i'm going to tell you the final reason why we did not feel such shock in the last episode even though it was the biggest character death ever all right because it's basically like we're going up a huge ass roller coaster and right when we're at the top it stops okay you can't just you know here's a good example okay remember herschel when he died when um the governor said liar and rose up his blade we were like oh, but we weren't like oh my god like crying then because we didn't see him die this is the same thing with carl we basically saw carl's if we're gonna use the governor fucking metaphor raise his blade at carl's neck all right he was he hasn't been sliced yet like we know he's gonna die but we haven't seen the chop, the actual kill yet. So that's why it hasn't been that impactful. Trust me, I do have faith in the writers. I know Scott Kimball's not an idiot. Uh, and that's really it. Those are the reasons why. And I'm not. In the next few videos, I'll be going over what I want to see, what I believe needs to happen, and all that shit. Bye, boys. Thank you. Peace out.